welcome back everybody just make our way up here these guys are still just hanging around they've not moved so I'm just trying not to look at them um, I think last time we didn't have this done up here so I've just added a little seating area with some bookshelves a couple uh, couches in the corners then I forgot I forgot to put a plant in that pot there let's go up here I know I have a tulip up here so there okay now we're done with this part um, I had I had some extra maps laying around so I thought those would look pretty cool on the wall and actually that one I guess this part would not be explored yet or is the whole thing explored I don't I don't really know but we have a couple seating areas here some just bookshelves some plants I thought it makes a nice cozy little area up here I thought of putting more dining tables and stuff but I kind of like this better and you like I you still got the banquet hall you can look at over there I'm really tr trying not to look at those endermen but that takes us up to this floor so I want to put in a wall like through here and let's just there's the center oh I got, almost got to the center there Doot. there we go and of course my bed is in the wrong spot let's do we're just going to put you over here for now um, I'm setting my respawn point because I'm so far away if I accidentally die I don't want to have to try and get all the way from spawn it just would not be uh, the nicest So I am trying, sorry for the pause there, I am trying a new wall method. I don't normally do this. So I'm kind of going to try and mix in different types of walls and blocks. And we'll see, uh, see where that takes us. It already has a unique look to it. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... But it could, um, I don't think it's too bad. Let's do that. So I'm just randomly sprinkling in these blocks. No particular order, no particular rhyme, no particular reason. And I just sort of picked I had some granite and I had a bunch of terracotta so I thought well I might as well use it and it kind of matches up with the granite I'm also thinking I could have done this with like spruce so mix granite and spruce because those go together pretty well well that gives me a nice view nice view there so we're gonna just put in a window here so you can keep the view let's see if I can get this done without making a mistake aha I did it so I think this would be the main area where this table is gonna go and the table is gonna be like it's gonna be here and here so I'll have seats going all through there. Maybe that way, like so. And for the outside of the table, it seems a little tall, but I think it's gonna be okay. Once I get the chairs in here, because the chairs are gonna be a little tall too. Oops, I messed that one up. 
That needs to be here. It's a narrow chest. Thinking like, why that wall is awful close. I did think ahead of how big it should be. And I'm gonna put this copper right here. And that's gonna patina, I believe, because even if you're indoors or outdoors, it's gonna patina. So we got this nice, large table to sit at. Now I just need to put some chairs around it. I should put the door here. And then we got our chairs, so it's gonna be a chair. Pop that out of here. Put these dark oak backs on them. So we got chairs there. I like one there, 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 and there. And one here. Let's do this. There we go. So this is kind of like the council or the meeting room for the, uh, oops, for the fort or the tower here. Let's see, we got that. And that. Oh, dang it. Guess I've got to go. There we go. And maybe if I jump click. There we go. There's always a way around. I just don't want to have to do that. Don't want to have to uh, break a hole in the wall. Oops, I should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and this side is a bit more crowded than the other. The table still looks a little big, but I, I think it'll it'll be okay. I'm gonna stick in maybe a. Uh, a lantern in here maybe like right there and there do I have any slabs I don't really have any slabs but I can make slabs Let's grab a couple of these banners. So I just want to do that. Kind of bring the ceiling down a bit so we have lights. Which I think will be okay. And then I'm going to do... Like in the corner over here, I'm just going to put like a little desk. So maybe that's like where a scribe would sit or something. There's a chair there. Doesn't need the high back and stuff. It's just sort of a working chair. Got a crafting table. And I'm get, mainly getting the crafting table because... Let's put that over there and then I can do... There. Make a couple of these flower pots. Which I can stick some flowers in. Oops. And then the banner, I'm going to put one banner here and the other banner here. And then maybe like one there and there. There, I think that gives it a little bit more life. And I can even like stick a, another map on the wall. And I even, yeah, there we go. Even have a crossbow just to, just for doctoring it up. And she's this wall, I think this wall actually needs to go back a couple. Because it's a little tight here. Well, this isn't so bad, I guess. It's a door side. It's a little tight here. 
So either I move everything over like two blocks or I leave it as it is. And I'm voting for leaving it as it is because I don't really feel like moving it. Just And that's just pure laziness. So you can chastise me for that. However, I just don't feel like doing it. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. So call it a mistake or don't. Oh, that looks like I've... Maybe I found the Woodland Explorer. Although I don't think I've actually found the Woodland Mansion at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've not found a Woodland Mansion at all in this world. So, not sure where a filled out Explorer map would have come from. That is, um, that is interesting. And I don't, does it actually show? So it's like near a river. And I'm way, uh, so I, from here I'd have to head north. I'm guessing that would be northwest. So if I head way in the northwest direction, and who knows how far, I might come across that. The only problem with that is my world was created before the Woodland Explorers. Um, those woodland mansions were, were even added to the game. So that kind of makes it a little difficult sometimes to uh, figure out where things are because the seed I have, they, they've changed the way the seeding works too. So that my seed, if you put it in there into a modern game, it isn't going to generate biomes or stuff in the same spot it's all going to be in a different spot so that makes it hard if i try and locate certain things in my old world generation well that is already turning um you won't find them so i can you know like go locate woodland mansion and you won't find the woodland mansion it has to be a new terrain that's generated so so sometimes these maps generate but they point to the wrong place because it points to where it thinks it's going to be, not where it actually is. And it just thinks it's going to be there because that's the way it is now. So that is my, so this is my meeting room. And once this turns green, I think it'll look pretty good. I, you know, I guess I could say, oh, if I stayed copper, it'd match the walls. But I think the green is going to actually contrast it nicely. And this style wall actually didn't come out too bad. You got a lot of ins and outs and stuff there. I think maybe, maybe doing the terracotta just on the outside and then doing polished granite, normal granite in the walls would be fine. And maybe just do terracotta all the way around. If I ever try that again, that's how I'm going to do it. So I guess that leaves me the rest of this area to do. So I think what I'm going to do is add in a couple of offices here. And then I just need to decorate it with some plants and all that kind of stuff. So I've added in a couple offices, and this was the... A change in style I was talking about. And I actually like this better than that wall there, but that wall actually looks a little better now that I can't see the whole thing. I mean, you can see most of it here, but I think uh, doing that solid border around there actually actually makes it look a little better. So I've got a couple doors. We're going to do this, and then I've got a lot of plants and stuff. Right there, we're going to put in just a couple plants. Let's put a taller bush, like one of those rose bushes there. Rose bush there, and I do have a lilac or lily, a lilac, that's it. Put the lilac there. I'm going to do this too. Don't know why, I just thought came to mind I was thinking well that might not look too bad and then we're gonna put in so we have those there 
And I think that would go. I'm gonna put that little pot there with a fern in it. And then we're gonna put another little pot over there and maybe put in this little azalea tree. So far so good. I did get some moss, see, some moss carpeting. I thought, give it a nice little carpeted area here. We'll just put another plant over here. Those look like potted plants. I wonder if that's going to always be on that side there. Yeah, for some reason that one always lines up there, and I'm not sure I like it there. Yeah, both, they all, they're all going to land right there. I don't know why. Something about the placement is going to put them on the sides. So let's see, is this, is this one going to go on the opposite side? No, it's almost kind of in the middle. Uh, I don't want to block, do not want to block the window. So let's do, now I can use my tulip. A bamboo. Speaking of bamboo, maybe if I put the bamboo in a corner there, yeah, I think that's starting to look a little better. And then I also need to put in like a light here. So that kind of lights up this corner. I want to get rid of these. Maybe go with a lantern hanging. And then another lantern over here. So far, so good. So I'm just going to stick a crafting table in each corner there gonna hang a couple glow berries from there because I think that looks pretty good I've also got let's do another grass block there but this time we're gonna put a will this work no I can't put a sunflower there I'm gonna put a, like a little bush And I guess we can do the same thing over here. Put like the, um, the fern. The fern can go there. That should be a moss in the corner. There we go. And now I can put my sunflower and it faces the wrong way. Well, rats. That's not what I wanted. Um, we'll do that. Dang it. That sunflower I wanted. Um, there. I wish you could rotate those sunflowers so they're not always pointing east or... I guess that would be east. Yeah, east. Actually, it'd be cool if they actually followed the sun as it went across the sky. Oh, that would be cool. So we got a table there and a chair. So that's we got this desk here, kind of like a funny looking desk. Maybe maybe it's got wings on it, a wing wing desk. And we'll just put a little daisy in there. I'm gonna stick in a couple chairs because chairs are always good. That's nice. And then, oops, let's get rid of this, which means I need to put in a light. I'm gonna just stick a lamp right 
there. And I'm going to carve out one, two, three, three there. And we just have a nice big window. And that'll help on the outside too, because more windows I think will help the uh, building. Just gonna stick some bushes in there just for uh, some color. I want the grass block. that I'm kind of leaning away from I was normally I put a lot of paintings on the walls but I'm leaning away from paintings just to see if I can do it because it is a little bit of a challenge because I think paintings are kind of a easy crutch for when you're doing interior decorating and you just go well, I don't know what to put on the wall, so let's just, um, we'll just cover it up with a painting. Yeah, that's it. So I'm just trying to avoid that a little bit. I don't know how successful it's going to be. Uh, will sunflower fit in there? No. Sunflower will fit in this corner over here. And, um, maybe a tiny little fern. Plus, I'm not really sure pillagers or painters. I mean, the pillager king lives here, I would imagine. Although this doesn't really look like a pillager, you know, a pillager village or pillager outpost would look more pillager-like. This is almost kind of like an ancient tower. It was here for a long time, and then the pillagers decide, well, We'll just take that over since uh, we're in the area and no one's going to argue with us. We'll take it over ourselves. And I, that's kind of what this is. It's, I wouldn't say it's an original build from them. I say it's kind of a, a, a occupation, a second. They've, they've occupied the area, so it's a second uh, second group of people living here now. And that makes a little office for somebody here. I mean, I can actually put in maybe some bookshelves over in that corner. Yeah, I can still get away with putting things like on the, you know, item frames and stuff. Because, you know, maybe he likes his uh, emeralds. I don't know, this guy over here, I guess I can put in... Um, I've got more emeralds. I'm not going to do that. But maybe he really likes these uh, glowberries. Like that. Okay. So I think that is actually looking pretty snifty. Snifty? Snifty. It's like nifty and smelly at the same time. Snifty. I don't think that's a word. I think I, I think I just mis, mispronounced a word. Like that, maybe. Maybe there. So I guess I'd have to do that over here, too. Something like that. There. I'm not like covering everything with carpet. Just giving it just a once over there. I think I've got everything in there now. I've got my, oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually add in windows here and I really wanted to add new windows back here too so 
I want to maybe I went there. And I do have um yeah, light gray. There and there. Yeah, so this chair's got a nice view. Which runs us over to this side. So we just need to put in these three windows here. Oops, I lost that one, and then I should be done. Kind of a little quiet, laid back little build today. Just doing some uh, interior decorating for you. Can't wait till that turns green. I think that's gonna look good once it's green. I think the rest of it actually came out not too shabby. I just didn't, I don't wanna go overboard. You know, sometimes you get a lot of just junk in these when you're trying to do the interior builds. Like these, uh, like these buttons I'm just randomly putting over here because I have no idea why. Well, it does open the door for you, though. So that completes uh, today's build. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It was a, a little laid back and quiet. My, I, uh, my throat is a little sore, so that's if I'm not talking. Well, I am talking a lot, but I mean, if I'm not talking really loud or sounding enthused and excited, um, I'm just kind of taking it easy. Otherwise, I'll start sounding like a frog, and you don't want to listen to that. But I want to thank you all. Have a great day. Um, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.